Hey everybody, Bear here again. Uh, got a bit of a mess on the go with the engine, all that stuff, because I'm actually filming this engine building video along with building the diff. So we're doing two things one time, trying to keep it organized, all that stuff. But anyway, tonight I'm gonna go ahead and press one bearing onto the axle. So that means I'll grab this one, put that on, bearing and retainer get this ready so that way i can measure axle tubes cut them and weld on the housing ends Where's that one this i can weld this on wherever depth it needs to be this one's i think like three eight this one's an inch and change that was from our last video anyway so i'm going to bring this up to my wife's shop that she works at where the press is and press that on Well, that doesn't go as well as I had hoped. Yeah, sometimes stuff just doesn't work out. So, either I pressed it on a little bit squish and it broke, or it's off too much. It was off four hundredths of an inch. I don't know what the interference spec is for this kind of stuff, but the bearing here was four hundredths of an inch smaller diameter, so like 0 0.04 than this uh, axle shaft. So I don't know if I can, but I'm gonna run some emery cloth over the shaft just to see if I can bring it down that little bit and get another bearing ordered. And if it doesn't work, I'll send it to the machine shop and have them do it. Add on a week, I guess, to the time, which is not serious. But, learning experience, would have been nice to, if it worked the first time, but that's it, stuff happens. Let's keep moving forward. Um, I won't be able to weld on my housing ends just yet because I was relying on this, making it work. But, whatever, we'll get there when we get there. Since the axle bearing broke, I'm gonna have to either get some machining done or find another set of bearings. So I'm gonna to have to take a quick break from the diff and continue on with the engine. So I'm gonna cut this video short and continue on with the engine. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to get back at the axle, it might be a week or so, but the diff center housing with the LSD and all of it should be in tomorrow or the next day, maybe Monday. So I'll, uh, I'll get back at that then. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a good day, everybody.